Hello my loves, today we're going to be doing a UX deep dive into Meta's new onboarding application firsthand. Now if you're familiar with any of the first series, they are a collection of little games that teach people how to use the Oculus essentially, or the Quest. I hate the Meta is bullshit. Now, we're going to get a little bit granular, so if you're not really into critiques to how people solve, you know, UI problems or UX problems within VR, maybe just skip around. But if you really like this kind of stuff, I would suggest checking out my, this video up above to see how I've done other UX deep dives. And if you have any comments of stuff you want me to actually dive into, let me know with a comment down below. Anyway, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and let's jump in. What's this? Okay, it says there's a car coming, and it's okay. What does this mean? This shader, this grid shader is really cool. They're taking. It seems like they're taking a lot of inspiration from Half Life Alex. I have a feeling a lot of this is going to be the same as Half Life Alex. It says I have a package, and let's grab this puppy. I think this is what they want me to grab. Come on, and I'm trying to hit not hit my computer. I got a package. It says I got a package. Let's hit this. Okay, this is moving over here. Oh, this completeness meter is really pretty. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey, bud. Look at that beautiful shader. And it just depletes. Awesome. Okay, what is this little signifier showing me? I'm going to click this button. Okay, once I hit this. It says it needs a battery. Well, I mean, I'm assuming this is. Just click it. Ooh, look at that little signifier. I love that. This tutorial, this way to do things is absolutely awesome. What do you want me to do? Grab it? Okay, I have to pump this shit. Okay, let's do it. It's pumped, baby. Now, what do you want me to do? They want me to enter the code. Pretty self-explanatory. One, two, three, four. One to test that. Look at that animation. Look at that little kick. Oh, sweet. Okay, watch this again. Kick. Do it. Do it. Kick. Sweet. There we go. Okay, like honestly, this is really that little kick and everything is really cool, but the hand tracking is still having a hard time. Look at that. Okay, what do they want me to do? Let's see. Again, the signifier. Okay. This grab panel thing, I almost guarantee you this is in their SDK. It's in kind of, they have this kind of an MRTK. This grab interaction on this plane, it's really sweet. I would suggest checking out MRTK. Maybe I'll do a video about that soon. But right now, let's take a look. We have this awesome shader down here. God, I want to get this perfect for you guys. I wish it was a little bit more rigid. I'm going to click this. And they said I can grab this part. Easier said than done. Okay, I guess I can change the color. Let's change. Okay. Can I just at least look at it? Okay, let's just make it white. Let's go. We'll explain. Okay, it's building it out. Half-Life Alex style, it seems. And they want me to place it in the middle. I'm assuming they're, I'm making gravity gloves. Signifier 25%. That means three more things to go. And these are my fingies. Okay, fingies. And I can make them black or red. So let's... I wonder if I can switch these by doing a hand motion they had earlier. I, black, white, black, white, red. That is impressive. I'm excited when that gets better. You can tell it's, if I go from this angle, it doesn't know what I'm hitting, right? Cause it thinks I'm like this, this touch area right here is getting confused. But if I want to like navigate that way, I can. It's not very self-explanatory the same way like they wanted me to stretch these out, isn't very extent. Like, did they tell me what they want me to do? Okay, there it is, it finally worked. And it's that gaudy red finger. Okay, so now that I have it, it works. Just getting it precise is very difficult. Okay, so let's go to black and put the fingies on. 50%. That should, I wish they would have held that up a little bit longer and maybe had that switch up here to maybe show me a percentage up here. I think that would have been really nice. Um, I mean, it's it's an, it's a it's a nice like percentage counter or like a progress meter, 
but I want the progress meter to always be up and maybe just do the switch every now. And let's go black, or I can get white, I don't care. At this point, I just don't care. Nice. 100%. Oh god, what did I just do? Okay, I just grabbed this thing, I guess. Let go of it. So if I grab this ball, if I, if I grab this ball, these pictures are really cool. Uh, if I squeeze it, got my little dude. I want to try it one more time. Grab the ball, squeeze it. That's interesting. I want to know how pressure sensitive that is. Drop it in. Ooh, gloves. Oh, look at that animation. Woo. That stagnation of how the palms and then the fingers open. That's really cool. These little panels at the top. I'm sure they're going to come in later. Awesome. Let's see. Let's see what happens if I put one hand in. Can I, can I just do one hand? I can. Look at that. Look at that. Tomato hand presence. That's awesome. Pretty damn good. Let's see what happens here. God, that's gorgeous. Great work, guys. Can't clap with them, but there we go. See here? Eh. 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 Can't go between. Oh, kind of. Very cool. Oh, what's that? Grab it. Aha, they brought in gravity gloves. Someone's making a noise. Is it you? Man, this is pretty responsive. Okay, if I... What do you do? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, hand. Ah! No! Oh. Hands up. Awesome. Okay, it gives me my score. I got hit! That's bullshit. Left hand! Not my panel. The panel just drains, that's really nice. Ah! The shaders, I just keep saying shaders, but they just, the technical artists seem like they really had a fun time here. And especially all this being done on like the standalone headset is pretty darn impressive. Um, now I'm hearing something, oh, right here. Oh no! It's a portal! Ah! Oh, what the hell are you doing out here? Look at that water shader. That is having a hard time. Hi! No, I'm not going over there. Okay, short and sweet, but awesome. The Interaction SDK. Super excited to play with that thing. And I'll see you back. Okay, that was an absolute banger. So what did I really love about this entire experience? Well, first and foremost, with the headset, the amount of immersion they've been able to squeeze out of it is incredible. Their 3D audio design, their wayfinding, and their user experience, absolutely great. The hand controls, when they worked, they made everything feel a lot more immersive. And that's really difficult to do, especially when you don't have any other feedback like haptics and stuff like that. Um, and so I think that's a good transition into what I would change and what I would improve. Sticking with the hand controls for a second, I think that they often got super ambitious to show you things that you possibly could do with hands, but fundamentally the hand gestures and the hand controls aren't accurate enough. So a lot of the time it broke immersion because I just could not get it to work. I think in the future, if you're building an application, especially on the Quest 2 with this technology, just be very mindful about what's you know easily possible with hand gestures. One thing I didn't enjoy about the UX of this entire process was that a lot of the times um, with their completeness meters or their steppers, they just were on screen so short that it was hard for me to gather what was actually being done. For instance, when I was building my hand, I think they could have added a completeness meter up above the panel as well to really hit upon how many steps you had to complete. Um, also, I think a lot of like what's happening in that environment um, from cars dropping boxes to to steppers felt disjointed and they kind of didn't feel like they were related. I think they like a lot of their signifiers were kind of muted and they were kind of hard to understand what you were supposed to look at. But fundamentally, what do you guys think? Um, what patterns excited you? What didn't excite you? Also, like, is there any other games or applications you want me to tear down and dive into? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe. And until next time, my loves, plus minus.